Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am dressed for festive, I've got a candle lit behind me. I'm feeling so excited because tonight I'm heading to a light switch on. Oh my goodness, I just want to feel so festive and this is gonna get me in the mood. So I'm gonna take you around some gorgeous shots with me tonight, take you to the light switch on. Just apparently they're doing like mince pies and stuff in the shops. Apparently there's a Santa's Grotto. I'm gonna have a ride around Chelsea with all the Christmas lights. There's just some cute AF stuff going on. So of course I'm taking you for the festive ride and the shopping and hopefully some mulled wine. So let's go experience Christmas together in London. Also, how cute is my new outfit? I don't know if it's better tucked in. What do you guys think? And then some new little earrings. Hello, you gorgeous little things. So yeah, I'm ready to go. I need to, I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear this, but I'm wearing it whilst I'm telling you because I just like the outfit. I feel like a little festive elf. My L'Occitane candle is burning because I'm feeling festive. Don't forget, I have a promo code. If you do buy anything on L'Occitane, you get two free Christmas crackers with my very special promo code. So I'm gonna leave that on screen for you and linked beneath, but oh, this is such a lovely candle. Guys, complete change of plan. I just got a delivery. And oh my gosh, how festive. And then I realized it's really cold outside. So I've popped this dress on, which I actually think is a little dupe of, I'm gonna pop it on screen, like this cute little white self-portrait dress pop and this is black, because it's sold out in white. But someone on Instagram asked me for a dupe and I would say, this is a dupe, basically it's cold outside. So I wanna pop these boots on and they don't go with the green outfit, so I'm gonna do this instead. So here's the final fit. I know the green was cute, but I feel like this is more the vibe, so. These boots are nice and waterproof and just easy to wear, so I wore them literally every day in Paris. And then this has got like a little collar. Okay, Matthew, it's time to go. First stop, let's go get some lunch, because I am hungry. I love this shop, and look how festive it's looking at the moment. Deck the house. Oh my gosh, everything's getting ready for Christmas! Matt, look, it's your favourite shop! Peggy Portion! Oh my god, but it looks so nice. Festive! How cute is that? Ivy looks to be all wrapped up for Christmas with mistletoe. How cute is that? It's my first time seeing it this year. That is really cute! Pedestrian eyes. The King's Road, how cute! Got my new sunglasses on, it was really cold and now the sun's come out, although it might rain. So they've pedestrianised the King's Road for the first time. I can only do this like once a year for the light switch on. And apparently all the shops are going to have like mince pies and festive stuff. I've also organised us a horse ride with a horse and carriage, which Matt is so not excited about. Look at his face. I would have brought Emily, but Emily's in LA so she can't come. So I put this coat over. Currently 30% off. Oh, it's so comfy. I love it. Needs my new sunglasses. Ho ho home, looking stunning as always. This is a Chelsea food market. It's amazing, but it's so busy. We're gonna eat at Polpo today. Excited. This is the first restaurant we came to um, post pandemic and we came for your birthday, remember? And we sat outside in the courtyard. This culture looks amazing. So Matt and I had a bit of drama years ago here <laughs> because I accidentally chose a pizza that had a white base and I don't like white base pizzas. Let's not make the same mistake again. The reality, Mr. Watching his football and then eating in the other hand. Tiramisu. Look how pretty Monica Vanilla looks. All wrapped up for Christmas. <laughs> we we missed the horse and carriage ride. We were four minutes late, and they sent it off without us. Matt's thrilled because Matt has to get a anyway. It was full, there were so many people on it. Um, lunch was amazing as always. Now let's see what's going on down here, it's really busy. I want to go to get like a hot chocolate or something. 
I walked past here a few days ago and it was closed and now it's open, the brand new Diptyque store. Also, Sloan Street Deli is one of my favourite spots for breakfast. Matt's never been, what were you just saying? Tell the camera what you said. Anything that's good, Ed never takes me there anyway, so she always goes with the people. I go with Emily and my mum, but it's really, really good. It's closed right now because it's like quite late, but let's head into the new Diptyque store. They got all of their new Christmas stuff. Look at the advent calendar. Inside. Oh no, look, this is the one that we have in our kitchen. But I want that one now. I want that one now. It does, doesn't it? But now I want this one. Look, the idea is it's all like stars this year. How cute. Look at this, how festive and stunning. Everyone's so festive. My dream table and my dream bouquet so far. This is Beaverbrook Townhouse with the Chelsea version and Matt did not believe me that they had one here. So that was the Carlton Hotel. Oh my goodness, like this is, like, is stunning. But the reason we went there is because it said on the website of the light switch on that they were going to have mulled wine and Christmas treats and they didn't have anything. So we're now on the hunt for some shopping and maybe like a Yule log or a mince pie or something. Or a hot chocolate. Chocolate shop. We've got lights. Waiting for these ones to come on. Look how nice Cartier looks. Stunning. Matt's favourite Zara store. In we go. Zara Laundry in here now. Look how nice it is. Look at this for Christmas. Cute. Look at these Christmassy shoes. Obsessed. This is a top. Yeah. Matt's favourite thing is tinsel when they have tinsel shoes. We're not having tinsel on our tree. No. But look, I think this is a top. Or is it a belt? Thanks. Look at these boots. Everything is so. They've gone full-blown party mode on everything. This is already such nice stuff. Like, look how nice this is. This is like a duvet. How nice is that? I can't try it on because it matches, it matches my outfit too much. Why don't you try it? Lovely though. This is only £25. It's so big and comfy. It doesn't go with my coat, obviously. It's nice, isn't it? It's like a literal blanket. Do you actually love this? That's like the comfiest, warmest coat ever. We've got dupes. Dupes of the shoes. Plan mat. Have a look at what might go into sale and try it on. You've chosen the most expensive thing in Zara, basically. That expensive taste. That's really nice. This is nice. Only 89. I think I prefer that colour, though, actually. Oh no, I really like that. This is you. This outfit should be you. It's such a nice outfit. Matt shopping behind me, me showing you my coat. Matt picks out the same things that he has in five different colours already. All the expensive warm stuff. All the sequins everywhere. This is really similar to my black and gold coat. I'll pop mine on screen. Mine's not from Zara. Um, this one is 89. I don't believe how many dupes they have of these shoes, but they're actually stunning in real life. They feel quite soft, so they might not hurt either. And this disco ball dress well and truly here. Look at all of these sequins. I love this one. Oh my god, it's backless. 
I need that. That is, oh, and it's got like a plunge front as well. That's lovely. I have a skirt version as well. How cute. This is stunning. Party season is definitely here. They went so hard on the sequins. Like, look at this. Everything is sequined. Look, they do the boots in gold as well. <laughs> I don't like them, but they look cool, but they wouldn't suit me. It's a nice one as well. Emily and I went into that Zara store about a week ago, and it was kind of like a mix between autumn and Christmas, and now they've gone full blown Christmas. Like, that was so Christmassy in there, so many sequins. So Matt's little hack is he was looking at stuff and trying stuff and making a plan for when it does go on Black Friday. He said, oh look, the lights are about to come on. Yeah, they have, they've got 30% off right now. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I actually saw someone wearing this the other day and it is so nice on in person. She had a short version of it on though. Oh, this one. It just looks like a t-shirt dress, but I'm telling you, in real life, she was wearing it with an All Saints leather jacket and it looked so good. Loving all of the sparkly stuff. I've not seen this on the website. This is so nice. Look at the sparkles and it's got like a two-in-one. I love that. Have the brown roll neck and then look, it comes with a dress underneath it. So then you can get like a two-in-one out of it. It's really good. Yeah, you can split them, it's not attached. Oh, right. So you literally get a slip dress and uh, a jumper. You don't buy them together. But they know they come together as oh, one right. price. It's like 120 for the set. See, right. It's genius, really. It's great, isn't it? yeah. Freestyle outfit. I actually feel like I should have probably got a bigger leather jacket. They're about 120, yeah. That's They're well priced, I know. I, I got a leather jacket the other day, I'll pop it on screen, and I'm thinking I like it because it's like shiny and cropped, but I actually feel like I need an oversized one. Which is men's pre made Yeah, outfit, like. Gold hardware on the leather jackets now. You love to see it. This dress last year in white. I actually wore it on my birthday. It's so stunning. Um, yeah, look. Gold hardware on the balcons now. How gorgeous. Matt wanted me to try this. It's like a boxy, kind of like leather, but it's not really leather, is it? It's like a boxy puffer. It's very good quality. Do you like it? Down to menswear. Oh, it's so beautiful, this store. You could get matching. Oh my god, I love that. It's actually Yeah, but I love that one. Oh, is that the same one? It's reversible. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is unreal. See, that's basically like the leather version of the one that I just tried on. I love that. I hope it doesn't have a hood. The girls' one had a hood. look at the trend. This is the Brandy Melville Cafe. But I don't understand why it's called coffee, bread and olive oil. It's too busy according to Matt, so we're not going in. There we go. Matt won't let me get canoes. Why, Matt? Look at the line of people waiting to get canoes. The best hot chocolate ever. Oh my gosh. No, they are actually lining out of the door. It's carnage, we've still not found a mince pie, so Matt suggested we go into the Marks and Spencer's food hall. We also just got into Peladon. You suggested, I said okay. It's yeah, because it's going to be calmer when we get out here. We may as well go and look at the Christmas food in Marks and Spencer's. They might have a mince pie. Um, we went into Peladon, the guy was really helpful. We basically wanted to get a Peladon spread. So we were just measuring it up. But they were so much more expensive. They're like £3,000. I don't remember Peladon treads ever being that much. Pin the tail on Percy. Percy pig crackers. He did this at the Marks and Spencer's Christmas press day. It was so good. Mm, heaven does exist. We've got festive mini Colin faces. Also, this is so cool. It's a Christmas pudding which comes in a like keep safe. I like that. They've got Colin the caterpillar crackers. Oh my goodness, and a Colin the caterpillar selection box. But oh my god, look at these. Wasn't that a small business? that we saw in a shop and now they do it. Yeah, in Chiswick. And now look, you can you just add butter and eggs. That's actually a good idea. Look at these snoozes. Look, Percy snoozes. Oh yeah, smart. Melting chocolate Percy. Filled with mini marshmallows, so you'd have that as a hot chocolate. That's genius. 
with a small bag of Percy Piglet sweets. Oh my god, I just want everything Percy. The Jenga town. Oh my god, that's so fun. This is like the chocolate that we love from Ladderack actually. It looks like that vibe. Oh, some of these are broken. I feel sorry Hello. for them. I feel sorry for them. Look at these cuties. Definitely getting one of these at Christmas because this will be such a fun activity. When we put the tree up, can we get one of these? This is pretty much my dream hot chocolate. We couldn't go to Canoes. This is perfect second place. Anthropology time. Smells so good in here, Matt. Look at this for cocktails over Christmas. How unreal. Hold it. Do you think that's what it is? I think it is like a cocktail mixer, like a cocktail, or is it like to pour whiskey out of, like a decanter? <gasps> oh my god, it's stunning! Top's not open, you take the top off. Well, it doesn't air it then, it's definitely not for wine then. Oh my gosh, these are the cutest things. I just want everything from anthropology. Look at these ones. Like, they're not going to go with my tree aesthetic this year, but I do like them. I always just love coming into anthropology and just looking at the glasses. Oh my gosh, look at these, gingerbread truffles, yum yum yum. Like how nice are all of these glasses? These look a bit sturdier than our anthropology ones. Because the ones like this, they actually just break, like, they're like paper thin. Unless these ones are plastic. These ones feel plastic. You don't have any nails. <laughs> I think it is glass. So these are the ones that we had, and Mr. Matthew broke every single one of them. So thin then, they? No, they are, and loads of people on Instagram messaging and said they look beautiful, but they're, you've got to take a lot of care with them. And honestly, one by one, they all just snapped. I wouldn't hesitate to buy these ones, though, this version of them, they're stunning. These exact ones didn't weigh, and they snapped one by one. They feel better this year, they feel heavier. A few, a few of them disintegrated in my hand when I was washing them up. Yeah, no, they did, but feel it, it feels heavier this year. Don't drop it. Maybe they've, like, redesigned it. We'll just have to buy some and try. We also had those so ones, and they smashed as well. Awesome. They all smashed. So you buy more. <laughs> oh no, but look at this version this year. Oh, they have gold ones. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely divine. Man, everything is so pretty. They have anthropology gold coins. Should we buy one? The cocoa chocolates. Oh my goodness. I don't even like leopard print anymore, but I want the leopard print cup. That's so nice. Oh, they got the memo this year. They really did own own is shot glasses these are really nice ones these are very m shell home on brand shot glasses they're very nice and then i feel like we have some stuff like this but how stunning is it patiently it's a bit too small they're nice too for small. like presentation oh yeah for like a cheese board i'm thinking if we're entertaining for new year's eve this kind of stuff will just be stunning for about a split second we thought this was a great idea then realized i would eat the entire thing genuinely in like three seconds no i think they are they're edible how quick would i eat that a minute. A minute. We could have a competition and see. What's he found? Oh, that is so cute. Do you remember when I said that we were only going to have matching mugs and now we've just collected loads of different mugs? That's your, it's a you problem. Though. No, but how cute are these mugs? I'm sorry, but they have really good mugs in here. You can choose a mug if you want. <gasps> can you get this one? Please get this yes. mug. Oh my, should we get you it now as a new working mug? I don't mind treating you as a little early Christmas present. So these are currently on sale and we have this one, we absolutely love it, it's so good for cooking in. It's basically meant to be apparently the best pan in the world and it always sells out. I'm going to link it for you because they've currently got a Black Friday sale on but it comes with like all of these handy things for steaming, you can basically do everything in it. But I want another colour and I think this might be the colour that I get. Okay, this is the cutest candle ever look. It's got this on top and then it's got the candle underneath. This is literally my favourite shop ever. Can we do this backwards? Oh look, you can get gingerbread house from here. That's probably a better place to get it from. I might buy one now actually, because then I can use it. Oh my god, look at these Christmas heart <gasps> shaped cookies. I basically am going to do a video where I decorate my Christmas tree. And I want to build my own gingerbread house for it. So I'm going to grab some stuff. Matt, do we need anything? Yes, we need this storage jar for Christmas. Look at him. Oh my gosh, look at this snack box. Look at this thing. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. Look at this mug. Oh my gosh, the cuteness. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Look at these gift bags. Oh my god, it's a cookie cup. So you've got room to put a cookie in it. We should get this for Maples. You could have a little Rudolph to squeeze. Look at these mugs. These are really nice muggies. I, I definitely prefer the anthropology one, but I like the green one. Which one? The Santa. Would you like that one? And you can get a matching plate. 
I actually, this is a nicer aesthetic. Just sell everything in here. We've gone from Santa to dumbbells to, what are they? And strengthen your fingers. Ooh, perfect. They just sell everything in here. Like, it's the most random, but best shot ever. Yes, why don't we get that instead of a Peloton tread? I think that would be genius. <laughs> it's, it's a vibe. Oh, look at these. Oh my goodness. So, they do mug cookies and then they sell the mug that goes with it. Look, it sits on the top of the mug. so much random stuff from um, Tiger, but it's for when I'm decorating my tree because I'm going to invite Emily around and we're going to have like a cute Christmassy day where we decorate the tree and we're going to build a gingerbread house and what did you just say? Em's now happy because she's cured her addiction of spending a little bit of money <gasps> wherever we go. No, I like, oh see, my nana used to say this, my nana used to say when I was a kid I had to buy something every time I was out shopping, but this is good stuff, this is stuff I'm going to use and love and most importantly eat. So the lights are now on, and that's what the fireworks were about. They were to be like, hello, the lights are on, so I'm gonna quickly show you. They're just walking home, by the way, now. Here they are, in all their glory. There we go. Looking pretty. Good morning, hello. I feel really different with straight hair. I feel like I never have straight hair anymore. What do we think? straight or long. Thank you for coming along to the lights with us last night. It was quite chaotic to get out. There were a lot of people there. But then I realized, da da da, the parcel that arrived yesterday and a H&M one that arrived today, I haven't shown you, so I thought I would finish this vlog and quickly show you some of that if you don't mind. When we moved house, I absolutely ruined Matt's trainers because my purple shampoo went everywhere. So overnight, I soaked them in the bath, put some stuff on, and to be fair, they're doing quite well. Particularly his Converse, it seems to come out easier in fabric than it does in leather. So guys, please comment if you have any tips as well for removing purple shampoo stains. I actually think these look really good in comparison to how they did though. So first things first, I actually tried this skirt on in October and I'm showing you it because it's finally available online right now. I got size edge small, it's nice and stretchy. I just love it, I love anything sequined. I actually like wearing it just with a roll neck because I think it's a nice little combo. We'll not be wearing it with these slippers, but love them anyway. The All Saints leather jacket, this is kind of like a dupe version, although this is huge this is so oversized i kind of look like the michelin man in it um someone messaged me on instagram and she was like that is the best jacket i've ever bought it's lasted me for years it's amazing so i'm gonna link that one below if you did want it i tried on a size six but if you just want a cheaper version this one also has a hood then this is a h&m version i mean on me it actually just looks too big but with leggings, it will probably be quite cute. Next up, this is so snuggly and warm, not itchy, oh my goodness. I love this. Also, as always, we'll link everything below, including the Santa mug, because I found it, and I'm ready for it to go on 25% off, because I usually do for Black Friday. So hopefully, when this is live, there will be some kind of Christmas sale live. But this is just like a long, midi knitted dress, just easy to wear. Again, I got the smallest size, but this is big. This is coming up very big on me, actually. This couldn't resist. It's one of the famous teddy jumpers which sells out all the time because of TikTok and it has a hood on it. Sorry. Is this not the cutest thing ever? It's like boucle so it matches my house <laughs> and I love anything that zip up. I'm just wearing it with like a cute little dress underneath. And now onto River Island who always smash it out of the park in winter time. I wish I got this a size down. This is too big for me, but I absolutely love it. I got the size eight and I just thought it would be really, really quite small on me, but there's a lot of room. Like when I sit, it's, yeah, it's, it's very too big for me, but I love it, it's comfortable. I did actually wear it yesterday, so I'm not sending it back. I'm keeping it, I'll just try shrink it in the wash. Um, they also do this in white, so I'm keeping an eye out to see if it comes back in stock in a size six slash extra small in white because I actually wanted the white one originally but yeah like I said earlier it's given me dupes of self-portrait I love it I got this I had this in black and white and it was really difficult for me to decide which one to go for but I realized I should go for a nice kind of winter white 
I didn't know if the beading was just like a bit tacky, but I actually really like it. So it's got like this neck collar and it's just a really comfortable kind of oversized jumper dress. I think it will be really nice with knee high boots and a nice coat over the top. Oh my goodness, I think this is a coat of my dreams. Again, I completely misjudged River Island sizing this year because this is too big for me. I mean, I'm gonna keep it because like, it's not that bad. Like I love it. <laughs> But, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think it needs to be tailored or do you like the oversized fit? This is a size 8. I think even if I got a 6, I don't think it's going to be that tight anyway. I think it's just one of those coats that kind of, like, I'm going to button it so you can see. But I just love it. I feel like a snow queen in it. I just feel like a winter snow queen. I actually think it would look really nice with a belt round as well. So that's it fastened. But with a belt round maybe, isn't that cute? I don't think it's meant to sit like that. I think it's meant to just be kind of like oversized, but love it with this underneath as well. Then I got really excited about the festivities. I don't know if I should wear this for my birthday or for Christmas day or for New Year's Eve, but I love it. It's got like a little cutout. I just feel like a little Christmas star. Another festive little sparkly dress. I love this. It's really lightweight, easy to wear. I don't think I've tied the belt in the right way, but this is so nice. Kind of like a shirt dress. Again, I just think this with boots is going to look so nice. I'm so here for sparkles and I always prefer gold sparkles. Christmas day potential, so you can't really see it on camera, but this is like burgundy sparkle and from the front it just looks like a nice knitted classy um, midi knit dress and then from the back, oh! We love a backless dress. Obviously, ignore my bra, but I think that's really cute. What do you guys think? Do you think glitter or this glittery knit one? But not least, I got this from Revolve, which is just one of my favorite websites ever. I haven't actually got anything from there for quite some time. And then for my Paris trip, I got loads of stuff. And I can't remember if I showed you this dress, but it's such a nice knit dress. And the reason I like it is because it's versatile. Like I could wear it to a dinner party with like that really nice coat over the top. Oh, wait for it. You can pull this up. There are just so many nice ways to wear it and it's such a comfortable fit. I literally love jumper dresses. But last night in our Ninja air fryer, we put toast in there and I honestly think we might trade in our toaster because yeah, I love toast, but sourdough in a toaster just hits differently. It was so crunchy. End this vlog here now. Thank you so much for coming to the Christmas lights with us and doing some Christmas shopping with Matt and I. Let me know if you made it this far. If you made it this far, comment and say air fryer because I just told you my toast sourdough air fryer hack. Everything from this video will be linked below. Don't forget to check the description box. And I would love to have you as part of the YouTube family if you're not already. Please check that you're subscribed. We're getting so close to 100K, which is so exciting. And pretty, pretty please come say hi on Instagram at mshalites. Let me know what vlogs you want to see from me next. It feels nice to be vlogging again. Thank you for watching, guys. All my love.